What's up you guys, it's your girl Judy here with My Life as Geek Guy. In today's video, I am going to be doing a full face using products that I bought and never used. If you're a makeup lover like me, then chances are you have a whole stack of makeup that you have bought but never used. I find myself gravitating to the same full face of products that I use every single day and not really try the different ones that I've spent the money on. So today I thought I would create a full face of makeup with these products, which I will show you. So this could probably also be a little bit more like a first impressions or something. So I'm gonna stop rambling. Let's just get straight into this video. I've already moisturized my face. So I'm gonna go straight in with the Fresh Faced Mecca Cosmetica Hydrating Primer. I know I've got moisturizer on, but for the sake of this video of using products that I've never used before. See, it's even still in the box. I have used the smoothing primer in this line and I really like that one. Oh, it, it smells the same as the other one. It actually smells really, really nice. So I'm going to apply that. Oh, this smells gorgeous. So it feels a little bit, not oily, but a bit wet. So let's hope that the foundation doesn't move around on top of it because the foundation that I'm going to be using today is also a bit of a thinner one. This one is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation, an oldie but a goodie. I went to Sephora one day, got skin matched, and upon coming home, I thought, oh, I think I feel like it's a little bit too yellow for me. So I swatched it, but I never actually used it on my face. So that's what I'm gonna do today. This feels like it's gonna be yellow. The girl at Sephora skin matched me, I'm telling you guys. Who hired her? And you know how wide their shade range is? Surely she would have found one for me. Uh, actually, I take it back. It's not too bad. Or maybe my skin tone has changed because it's winter. It's bloody cold. I'm finding this foundation is a bit of a thinner one, it looks like, so I'm gonna have to build this up because I want a bit more coverage than this. I'm feeling like this foundation is needing a lot more working into the skin than the other foundations I've used. Okay, not bad, not bad. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit more of an affordable concealer. Somehow I managed to get my hands on this Wet n Wild Correcting Concealer. So I'm just gonna apply that under my eyes. I've got mine in the shade Medium Peach. I don't know if this is exactly my shade, but we'll find out, won't we? This one smells like their foundation. It, it, it really smells like paint thinner. I'm gonna put some of that on my eyes to use as an eyeshadow primer as well. I'm actually really excited to show you guys what eyeshadow palette I'm using because that one cost me a mint of money and I haven't even used it yet, but I will be today. Gee, that concealer blended in like a dream. I'm gonna be using that one again. I don't know why I haven't used that one before. Now that concealer is in, I'm going to go in with this LA Girl Pro Powder. It's even still got the plastic on it. Get my brush in there. And I hope to God that this doesn't crease up my under eyes because that concealer was nice. That went up the wrong way. Whew. I was just about to say, this is a really fine powder, as my nose just discovered, but it's setting my concealer really, really nicely. I don't know why I haven't used these products before. They're all coming out really nice. Except with the foundation, I'm not 100% sold on it. I feel like it doesn't give me as much coverage as I want. I feel like it's making me look a little bit gray. It's a little bit tacky. Anyway, I'm going to Latin Fitness after I finish this video. So if it's still on by the end of that, then let's just keep it. Now that concealer's on, I'm going to go in with bronzer. Now this one is a Makeup Revolution Baked Bronzer. It's a vivid baked bronzer, so it has a lot of shimmer in it. It is called Rock On World. I believe this one is still available on their website. This one is a very shimmery bronzer from the look of it. Can you see that? Yeah, shimmery. Don't know how I feel about that. It's gonna show up all my pores and texture. Yeah, no, not using that one. Nope. Actually have somewhere to be tonight 
and people to see my face. So, not using that one. I'm going to move on to Morphe Contour Palette. This one I've had for a little while. This is what I'm going to use instead of bronzer just to give my face a little bit of shape and definition. So I'm going to go in with something not too crazy so that my face doesn't look too dirty because it is obviously a contour, not a bronze. I'm going to go in with that one and I'll just build it up. That's showing up on camera a whole lot darker than it really is. Apply some of that to my five head. And of course, hide that double chin, girls. Right, so my face doesn't quite look so flat anymore. I was holding that up the whole time. Right, I don't have a blush because I'm not huge on blushes. So I'm just gonna go straight to highlight and then we'll do the eyes, which I'm really excited to do. I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I didn't buy this one personally. I entered a makeup competition on a Facebook page that I was on and I think it was like best drag makeup or something and obviously I won. I got a Mecca gift card and with that one, I bought this Ambient Lighting Palette. I don't know why I never used it, I just never did. I think I felt like it was just way too pretty to use, but I'm going to be using it today, putting it to the test. I'm just gonna take my brush into all of them, I guess, because why not? Is that showing up? Hello? Oh yeah, sort of. Okay, so this is more of a um, glow from within type of highlight definitely not your bam in your face type of highlight so if you want more of a natural glow go with this one can you see all that powder it's just fluffing everywhere <coughs> i think my makeup is trying to kill me oh actually that's really pretty i just looked at myself in the mirror i just looked at myself in the mirror see i have a ring light right here and when it's here my highlight shows up, so I'm just gonna have to walk around with a ring light so that people can see this highlight show up on me. Hmm, not bad at all. This would be so beautiful on a no makeup makeup look day. Moisturizer, bit of highlight on the high points, and then bit of lip gloss and you're good to go. Alright, next product you guys is the eyeshadow I'm going to be putting on my eyes today. I'm so excited because it is the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. Now this one retails for a hundred and dollars and I bought it and never used it. But today, so excited. I think I just never dipped into it because I felt it was so expensive and so pretty I just never wanted to ruin it. Does that make sense? Is there anybody else out there who does that? No, just me, okay. So first I'm going to go into the shade Bermuda and apply that all over my lid. Now I'm going to go into Sinai and apply that into the crease as my transition shade. I just barely dipped that in there and it is showing up to work. There isn't really any fallout either, which I'm actually really glad of because I don't know why. I'm usually of an eyeshadow first before foundation sort of girl, but I think I got carried away and obviously did my foundation first, but that's okay. Now I'm going to go into Terra and apply that to the outer corner of my eye, just to deepen it up a bit. Now I'm going to go in with a smaller blending brush and go into Igneous and apply that just to the outer lower lash line and slightly into the crease just to deepen up that corner a bit. Man, these shades are blending like a dream. I'm gonna blend that slightly into my crease and sort of try and wing it out this way a bit. Just here, just sort of trying to create that cat eye shadow. Not a sharp cat eye, just a cat eye shadow. As you can see, I'm starting down here and then sort of lightly flicking up, blending the product around down here and then softly bringing it up just in that outer corner to create more of a shadow. 
All right, now that I've got that definition, I'm going to grab a packing brush and go into the shade Obeyed. Wet it. Apply that to the inner corners of my eyes. It almost feels silky. It's just applying so smoothly. Not chunky at all. I don't have to sell you guys a Natasha Denona. Everyone knows that she's the best. I'm going to go and apply that just a little further above my crease, just so that when my eyes are open, you can see even just a little bit of it. Now because I want to use a few more shades in this palette just to try it out, I'm going to go in with a small packing brush into the shade Panjin, and I'm going to apply that under my lower lash line. I'm just going to keep it really, really close to the lower lash line. I'm going to take some of that shade Sinai again and apply that underneath Panjin. I'm going to take this smaller blending brush again and go into Volcano, which is a shade I have not tried yet. Just want to try a little bit of all of them and apply that closely to the lower lash line as well. Oh shoot! Should have tapped that one off. She's pigmented, guys. I want to brighten my inner corners a little bit, so I'm going to go into Ice Gold and apply that to the inner corners of my eyes. Mm, that one's not really showing up. Maybe I have to wet my brush. Ah, there we go. So some of these shadows show up when even when they're not wet, and some just need to be wet a little bit. So there's a tad bit of fallout there, that's okay, just clean that one up. So that's the eye look I came up with in Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. I'm really, really impressed, you guys. I don't know why I didn't use this before, but the price almost makes me not want to use it at all. But the fact that I spent so much money on it probably means that I should use it more, if that makes any sense at all. I'm going to go in with a little bit of eyeliner. I typically use um, a marker type of eyeliner, but today, because I have not used this ColourPop eyeliner in the shade Overboard, that's what it looks like, I'm going to try and apply this. Hopefully it doesn't ruin my eye look because I'm really liking this eye look at the moment. But I'm going to go in with an eyeliner brush and cross my fingers and hope for the best. Right, so in the hopes of not ruining my eye look, I'm just going to apply this to the lash line and not wing it out like a cat. Not bad. Not sure I would go back to using that one though. It feels a little too creamy for me and like I said, I'm more of a marker type of eyeliner sort of girl. So I don't have a mascara to show you guys that I haven't used before. So I'm going to apply some mascara and eyeliner off camera. Then I'll be back and finish off the lips. Right, so I'm back. I added a little bit of black eyeliner just on the outer edge. Some mascara. And now I'm going to go in with some lips. I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Festival Collection Matte Lipstick in the shade Soil. Now this is a product that I bought and have never used, but I really just bought it a few weeks ago. So this is the first time I'm using it. I thought that this lipstick would go beautifully with these eye shades at the moment, and it does. So I'm really loving this look. Let's see if I can find a setting spray that I haven't used yet. Hopefully it doesn't ruin the whole look. Let me see. Oh, here we go. This is the Ofra Makeup Fixer. I did get it just a few months ago but today's the first time I'm using it, so here we go. So the mist on this is a little bit aggressive. I kind of feel like I've put a bucket of stuff on my face. It smells good though. So I'm really loving this look, you guys. It came out really nice. The foundation has sort of settled into the skin, which is really nice. That setting spray smelled good, but I feel like I just need to pat it in a bit because the mist is probably not the right word for it. It's more of a sort of, if that makes sense, but it smells good. 
I feel like I need a little bit more shadow here because why not? I'm in love with this palette, you guys. In love. In love. I love you. So yeah, that's the finished look, you guys. Finally, here's a full face of products that I have now used and can continue to share on my channel. The only dud, I reckon, was the ColourPop eyeliner. I felt it was a little bit too oily and too chunky and I couldn't really apply it to my lash line. But I feel that this would be good as an eyeshadow base because it's more of a creamy sort of texture rather than a waxy texture which is what I feel would apply better to my lash line as a eyeliner especially if you want to wing it out but overall I'm pretty happy with this look and with these products I'm definitely going to keep using those and this highlighter dang I look good <laughs> So that's it for this video guys. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.